If y'all don't already know, right now it's crazy down there in Mississippi. Three white male students hung a noose from the statue of the first black African-American student to attend that school. And if that wasn't enough, the very next day, a young black female was getting out of her car on campus when a white gentleman in his vehicle threw a beer bottle at her and then called her the N-word. Nonsense. It's ridiculous that this type of thing is going on in 2014. But let's not forget we're in the South. Better yet, let's not forget we're in Mississippi. These children are the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren of some of the most racist people you probably would ever meet in your life. They don't want us in the neighborhoods. They don't want us eating with them. They don't want us going to school with their kids. They don't want us nowhere near them. If it was up to them, we'd be back in Africa somewhere. Now the reality is, we're not going anywhere. And the reality is, they're not gonna change the way they think. They don't like us. They think we're second class citizens. I personally think it's crazy that a black parent would send their kids to a school like Ole Miss, where they have to go and see nooses hanging on statues of somebody that represents them, the first black student to attend the school, or be called the N-word all willy-nilly. Now I'm not here to say that every white student that goes to any school in the South is racist, but I can almost guarantee you that a majority of them come from racist households. A lot of times with these white kids in the South, they don't have to interact with black kids until they go to college. That's their first interaction with kids that don't look like them because they went to private school or they're in areas where there are no black people because of poverty. I strongly believe that if we're gonna ever overcome this type of obstacle as far as people not showing us any respect, we just wanna get education like them, we're gonna have to start going to our own schools. We're gonna have to start going to our HBCUs. Parents are gonna have to stop thinking that if my child doesn't go to NC State or UNC or USC, that they're not gonna get the same education. But in all reality, they will. We have to send our children to these HBCUs because these HBCUs are the only schools that are teaching our young black kids about themselves. These white colleges are not doing that because they already feel like, why must I teach this black student about being black? He came to my school, a white school. So clearly he doesn't wanna know about himself, which isn't always true, but for the most part, they neglect or they only cope black history. And to my brothers at Ole Miss, how could you allow somebody to throw a bottle at a black woman and not be enraged? How could you not say, we gotta get to the bottom? How could you not say, we gonna find out who did this and they gotta get it, period. It's disrespectful. I'm not condoning violence at all, but at the end of the day, you are not gonna disrespect our women. If we protect our women, then we'll be all right. But our women out here being disrespected in all facets of life and we're not protecting them at all. Black men, we watch people disrespect our black women. We watch people treat our black women like they're less than and we don't say anything. Our black women aren't the black women you see on reality TV. True black women don't act like that. You know this. True black women don't act like fools. Personally, I think people who think like that are going to always be like that. Ole Miss, University of Alabama, Auburn University. These schools are going to always have this racist, white supremacist attitude because it's just how it is. They're not going to change it for you, me, or any other black person. Anybody. Al Sharpton. Reverend Jesse Jackson, anybody can go down there and march. There's no need to. They're not going to change the way they think because they don't have to. They don't have to. So like I said, we need to go to our own schools and teach our own kids about being black. And we won't have nothing to worry about. Let them do their thing. Let us do our thing. We're going to have to co-mingle. We're going to have to be together. But when it comes to education, we don't have to go to their schools. We don't have to. And personally, I wouldn't send my child to any school that isn't an HBCU. Now, all HBCUs aren't the same now. Some HBCUs need to step it up, but for the most part, most HBCUs, Morehouse, Hampton, Howard, these are great schools. If anything, these schools rival any of your top white schools out here. So do me a favor, at least look into it, because they don't love us. And to my black students at Ole Miss or any other Southern white university, we cannot allow anybody to mistreat us in any shape, form, or way. We have to stand up, step up, and be heard. Real talk. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.